Good evening. You know, this week President Bush committed the United States to building a missile defense system, a giant outer space panty shield. <laughs> That would protect us from incoming missiles while still allowing us to go swimming, running, and horseback riding. <laughs> now, I know this FDI sounds like the lunatic product of a deranged mind, but it was actually Reagan's idea. <laughs> the thing is, back in the Reagan years, it was only a bluff a trick to get the Soviets to cash in their chips. There was never any plan to actually build the thing. I mean, even in Star Wars, Star Wars didn't work. Luke Skywalker got right in and blew up the Death Star. But, you know, you can't hate dreamers, and sometimes the unimaginable does come true. We put a man on the moon. We harnessed the atom. We've kept Dick Cheney alive. <laughs> But what kills me, and of course eventually the rest of humanity, <laughs> is the very selective way the current administration doles out its faith in technology. A magic force field in the sky that's never come close to working? Sign me up for the can-do club. <laughs> but alternative energy sources? Or a non-polluting car? What are you, gay? <laughs> I, I don't know if you remember, but we used to have a defense shield over the earth. It was called the ozone layer. Yeah, that's... Uh... That's the earth shield I'm worried about. I'm much less concerned with things coming out of the sky than I am with things we're putting into it. And into the water, President Arsenic. I mean... <laughs> Where's Erin Brockovich when you need her? The polar ice caps are melting in 10 years. I don't want to see an ad. Surf Idaho. <laughs> Spending gazillions on Star Wars when we continue to pretend that global warming needs more study is such an irrational prioritizing of one threat over another. It's like meeting a total stranger in a bar refusing to drink out of their glass, and then having unprotected sex with them three hours later, God willing. <laughs> now, I know America should have expected nothing else when it elected two oil men to supreme power, but we still deserve a little better than to be made canaries in a Republican mine where you might die, but business is good. You know... You know, George Bush is a lot like the missile shield. He lives in a bubble, and he's failed most of his tests. <laughs> but, Mr. President, I gotta tell you, the planet, it's not a share. I mean, it is a share, sorry. And it guarantees life for no living creature. I know all those dead dinosaurs created the oil that produced the money that put you in charge. But take a hint from the irony gods. We're all, as you might say, extinctionable. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the star of Politically Incorrect, Bill Maher. All right, let's meet our panel. She is a guest columnist for USA Today and a contributor to MSNBC from the Independent Women's Forum, our friend Amy Holmes. Amy. There you are, kitten. Oh, you're there. Good to see you. A popular recording artist. Oh, is he? He's the star of Common Tuesday on MTV in the film Showtime and Monsters Ball opening later this year. Most deaf, ladies and gentlemen. I wish I had your record to hold up. I love your record. Now sit over there. Come on. No moving up. He is the writer, director, <laughs> caterer, and star of the upcoming film, You'll Never Wheeze in This Town. <laughs> Again, our buddy, Pauly Shore, ladies and gentlemen. Is that it, Wheeze? Yeah, that's it. That's that's it. it. And she's a very good reason to see the movies Kingdom Come and Juana Man, Vivica A. Fox. Hello. Yes, you are. 
Hello there, you. Thank you for coming. All right. We've got our young hip panel. Let's talk about drugs. Not because, not because we enjoy them, because they're in the news. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, if you don't know what ecstasy is, and many uh, parents don't, ask your kids uh, Sunday afternoon. No. Uh, <laughs> ecstasy is a drug that is used uh, by a lot of kids, and what's going on now is that the authorities, the man, is trying to close down certain nightclubs just because they do things which conform to the ecstasy goers' enjoyment, like mm -hmm. they have electronic music, which really you could not enjoy unless you truly were. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I, mean, I agree. How many I've, gone on to, I've gone into some ecstasy clubs, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> Go home and, rat, uh, right? <laughs> and not been on ecstasy, okay. and it was really bad music. It music, is. It's like, <laughs> No, it's like, it's literally thumping music, you get a headache from it. It is But awful. if you're on ecstasy, not that I've tried it. No. Right, but, right, But if right. you're on ecstasy, it's actually the most best music in the world. Okay, but can it's you... Almost like, it's almost like smoking a joint listening to Hendrix or something, you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Hendrix is good with or without it. Yeah, with or without it. No, but not know. that I would know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but is it fair to close down a club simply because they are playing music that is conducive to the enjoyment of a certain drug? That seems like a stretch of our Constitution. Exactly. Well, they're not just playing music, though. I mean, they're providing paraphernalia. Apparently paraphernalia, now, even yeah. private ambulances, yeah. yes. which I think is a signal that these, these owners are complicit in basically... If they're complicit the, the, in not winning their club. If, hiring, if they are hiring private ambulances, they know precisely what's going on. Look, if but, a kid's parents... As kids go over to a parent's house to have and drink beer there, whether the parents are there or not, or whether they bought the beer or not, they are responsible for underage drinking. And we're talking about an illegal activity, we're, so I don't really see where the controversy is here. Well, this I, is I, illegal. I, I think that it's a thing where, like, you know, you get kids yeah. that are on ecstasy, going to these clubs, going to these parties, and <laughs> dying. And not that that's funny, mm -hmm. but you know, the last thing that a <laughs> oh, <laughs> I said it wasn't oh, sure it is. <laughs> but you know, yo, uh, hey, it's you know, funny they, when they do it on the Jack club Dad. owners don't want their clubs getting closed down. The last, you know, somebody dying on your dance floor is bad publicity. So I think, uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So these club owners are like, look. Whatever oh. you do, just don't die. Like, yeah. uh, you need some water, you need some water, you need an ambulance. Like, we're going to try to keep you alive. How many if they don't have water, they don't have water, they take the ecstasy, like, yeah. on their way to the club. Right? The so they're going to come so many, in and get, so get their buzz. So if they know that they're going to be buzzed, and they're, they're like, what, are we not supposed to have ambulance standing by? They know that they're going to be getting caught. These parties are not necessarily held at clubs. I mean, I'm from Seattle, and mm -hmm. there would be, you know, the, the postcards to go out to the middle of the forest to do all of this. I think so anything that, that, absolutely. Right. Anything you can't that you can bust the forest. There, we're, we're talking about <laughs> busting it's, no, people it's who have a, a legitimate racket. business. It's a racket. That's what it is. You know, but, but you want to extend the, the constitutional right of the police to bust a a, a place of business, a legitimate place of business, mm -hmm. because, because of what people weekend. might be doing. Absolutely, they do it every weekend wow. when, when bartenders serve to underage people. You, if you are a bartender and well, you serve to someone and you don't ask for an I identification, you will get fined, you can get arrested and thrown in jail. People I mean, leave but a if these people at these parties, you said that the people at the party are, are underage? They, they apparently tend to be, like well, 19, no, 20 no, no. years old. Oh. But they're using, an they're using an illegal drug. We're not just talking about beer here. I think they're using it before here. they get to the car. Yeah, without a doubt. Right. What is sell it on the premises? I yeah, mean, that's gotta, illegal. Yeah, you got to have that. There's also, there's also ecstasy... Um, Machines that you put, you give the the pill to the machine, and the machine will tell you. <laughs> the machine will tell you if it's good ecstasy or bad ecstasy. <laughs> besides the precautions, yo. Besides the ambulance and stuff, there's so many precautions. I think it's a great thing that they have ambulance. The great thing that they have the pill thing. I think it's great that because you know what the kids are going to be doing it anyways. So the 911 call, you know, how did, most people, the time you do a 911 call, it takes 15 hours exactly. for it to show up. Exactly. Right. You know what I mean? So this way, they're right there. It's kind of like the rubber machines at the clubs. It, it just am <laughs> uh, 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 you know, Just they do it anyway, so it's great for cause. I was in, listen, yo, I was in Tampa last weekend. Okay, right. You sure do a lot of party of I met it. No, I was, wow, quit no, bragging. I was, no, I was at, <laughs> yo, I was performing. I was yeah. out there, I went to an after hours thing. Yeah. Okay, and there was a guy in the bushes, I swear to God, like 
break dancing, you know what I mean? Like falling all over. And this guy was, it's not good. There's no ambulances around that club. And he needed help. We gotta help. tell people. <laughs> You got it. What do you <laughs> No, but I'm just saying there's got to be. We bust the bush. No. Yeah. We you should don't. tell the people where the club is so the ambulance could just go there. Who, who would think that, you know, club owners would become, you know, health care providers? Exactly. 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 It's like, exactly. I know drugs are the worst thing in the universe, but you know what? It's They've amazing to me that conservatives time. want to throw out the Constitution mm -hmm. for it. Because well, you know, they didn't have this when Studio 54 minute. was going That's on right. and everybody was... And oh, right. I think and there's the a Studio different kind of drug, though. We look I think there's the, the GHB and the X. I think it is different than cocaine I think it's the cocaine this generation, my personal opinion. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the, the propaganda, yeah. right? Like, okay. it's not addictive, you feel good, blah, right. blah. Right. You're going to see people with like four teeth in 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm take it commercial. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my. Politically incorrect with Bill Titus, Christopher Titus. The Ugly star, D.L. Ugly. Recording artist, Uncle Cracker. And from the practice, Steve Harris. All right, let's uh, talk about some other music than an electronic stuff. I, can you even buy that in the store if you wanted to buy electronic music? I actually got one. The guy at the Tampa Club gave me one. I can give one to you. I don't want one. Okay. Um, <laughs> But I did get uh, Mr. Snoop Dogg's. You, you must be a fan. He's a colleague Love of sorts. Snoop. Oh, yeah. man. Love I do, like too. He Damn does our show guy. all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Love Snoop. <laughs> no, I like Snoop. I'm yeah, just kidding. Yeah, he's And uh, his... <laughs> <laughs> No, we like, we, everyone loves, how can you not love Snoop? I agree. Exactly. You know, he's got the blunts, you know what I mean? He's got the 40. <laughs> Why do it's, people, are people still drinking 40s? Yeah, man. <laughs> I, w I want you to show me the person who's still drinking. Yo, I got a brown bag in my car, dude. Molly, they're drinking Cristal now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. really. <laughs> the yeah, truckers are drinking 40s now. Right. Yeah. They're, they're drinking drink Cristal. Things are real good in the rap business. <laughs> 40s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, update your... Okay. I, got I, got I, know, I, know, I just got... I was in Tampa. They had 40s there. Of <laughs> Cristal. Yeah, of Cristal. In, yeah, in Tampa. Right. In Tampa yeah. No, I'm just... Go to Miami. Okay. Right. Okay. So anyway, uh, Snoop's, <laughs> Snoop's new record <laughs> came out. And uh, I was listening. It's really good. I, one of my favorites of his. And uh, but there's, he's in trouble as always. The FTC says it should not be advertised on media that kids watch. I don't. Who are those people again? The FTC, the Federal the Trade FTC? Commission. Oh. That, that's the the man. The man. Once again, the, the man. The man. Uh, and uh, you know, I don't. Did see... they say the same thing about Nine Inch Nails when he came out with that song? Marilyn Manson. What's the song? I want to write the name. Like an animal or whatever yeah. it was. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Did he or, really? Oh, hell like yeah. Oh, more than once. Yeah. What? Like, it's the chorus. Yeah. It's not like, no. I know that. It's not like, I know what well, you're talking about. But it's the point here because that song, when it was played on the radio, the F word was bleeped out, so you couldn't hear that. Um, is it, are they saying. Sure. Are they saying that you can't advertise with the lyrics? You can't play the lyrics in the commercial? Well, they're saying we should, they shouldn't advertise legitimate. this on any uh, outlet where kids mostly watch. Well, of course not. I mean, you would think so that there's probably a label on there that, that says forever. parental advisory. It does. So, they put exactly. that, that label right on there. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, I mean at but least every, there is some responsibility going toward that way, that there, at least there is parental advisory. I know. It's a know, lot of what kids. They know it's it only more rap lyrics than what you would... Ever imagine, I really think that. What do, you, what do you think of rap lyrics? Are, are you that, offended by. I think that. The, you're not the, offended by any rap lyrics? I'm offended by. I don't all listen to them if I am. Exactly. You know, so I went, that make a difference as the rap. Rap. came about out. About the women attitude? I mean, what? I, my question is. Guys rap. have been singing about chicks for. For ages, but man. How can, how can you even hands. compare the way guys have been singing about chicks for ages <laughs> with the way rap people sing about chicks? Oh, 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 I mean, Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. in Elvis Presley's world, b chicks were not just bitches and hoes. Okay, but he was you gotta realize how they're. Sometimes you call somebody a bitch and you don't mean it bad. Oh, they First mean it all, bad. Girls call yeah, each other a bitch all the time and you don't mean it bad. Like, what's up, bitch? Bro. How you doing? <laughs> oh, bitch, what? What's up, bitch? Right, I mean, it's not bitch. that bad. It's how you, it's different when you call, she's a stank hoe bitch, then that's bad. Yeah, that's a bad bitch. You gotta get to I'm Yvonne and straight. Exactly. First, wait, 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 we gotta stop saying the word bitch, okay? According to who? According to me, no more bitch. <laughs> Yo, 
Well, my mom thinks it's bitch. disgusting. Do you with listen that. to these lyrics? Huh? Wait a it's second. And, it, and I've always yeah. defended rap for its well, honesty. Time I can't even understand half of the <laughs> saying. I mean, stuff they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> things that they're saying, and it's just the well, flow of the beat. I yeah, mean, you I, know, I, I okay. just not take things so technically serious. Wait a second. I don't understand I'm totally offended by it. I bought. I bought Eminem. <laughs> I didn't mean that mean because she was. Sit down. <laughs> no, this I is bought, my I, side, man. Come I on. Know. I, I, bought bought him. Him. <laughs> I bought his first CD because I liked the, you know, uh, my name is, uh, my name is. And then I couldn't listen to the rest of it. I have a family that lives next door to me in my apartment building with a small toddler. There's no way I'm going to be blasting this music out of my apartment. That's offensive to them. That's but offensive then the Dido the song came oh, out, so that was cool. Wait, no way. No, wait, wait, wait. No, you're not going to be blasting, first of all. You're not going to be blasting no music like that if you know a child's next door, but you're not saying when you ride down the street cruising in your car every once in a while, you don't turn it on and be good. Yeah, that's it. good. Come on. No. You, you, you can't, come on. No. You cannot be that sad. Let, let let me, let me say that. I She's not like that. She doesn't like your stuff, okay? <laughs> She's different than you. More for me, baby. More for me. More for me. Yeah, well, we'll... Let's check it out. Let's yeah. check it out. But that's why we live in the United States, States of America. Yes, it's uh, free. You can I'm, do what you like. We're not okay? arguing about that. I think right. that the, the hip-hop lyrics come under sharper scrutiny than any other exactly. lyrics. Why don't you yeah. go yeah. like, the yeah. book sign any, come on. Right. Hey, right. Joe, I heard you shot your woman down. Neil Young killed yeah. a girl yeah. down by the river. I shot my old yeah. lady. Right. Yeah. Come on, this side now. Okay. No, 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 no. Would you sit down? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Nobody's it's like, it's like having a child with a riddle in. <laughs> Nobody says that Take these, your Ritalin before you Nobody says on. that these lyrics are offensive. They go, oh, that's great art. Well, when Snoop is like, no, but, you know, I'm, I'm pimping these bitches, no, no. then it's terrible. Oh, come on. Now, but what I will say this is, is about this. this. See, the, the problem isn't with Snoop. The problem isn't with it's Snoop. It's, not with, it's with the program directors, with these video program directors. If my 13-year-old brother cannot go by Debbie Does Dallas, Right? He should not be able to go buy to buy. I'll, I'll get it for him. I'll he shouldn't it. be able to go buy the audio uh, uh, equivalent of a pornographic film, which a lot of this stuff is. I'm not saying that artists don't have the right to make the music that they make, but I'm saying okay. you can't blame Snoop when MTV will show Snoop's video at 2:30 in the afternoon. They're not going to show Sex in the City at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Why are you going to show these videos when you know it's a bunch of kids? A lot of that lies on. These networks that put that stuff out there, if they wouldn't play videos on prime time hours, then people would change the style up. That's another commercial. You're right. Uh, we only have two minutes. I wanted to ask this question. Why does God have to be brought into the work of people in show business. People in offices don't come into their office in the morning and, and, say, and they sure they do. Maybe to themselves. Mm -hmm. They don't write it on the wall. God, only I show business here. people. They make a basket. Well, you only, Ooh, you God. They hit a single. Oh, God. Yeah, but it's you like, only you know see that show business people do it because don't, that's the only people people see. That's the government the writes God on the money. In God we trust. I mean, yeah. Ah. Now, Doesn't it say it right there? Well, that's wrong too. That's wrong too. Um, people, all, people thank God for all sorts of blessings. I mean, people say prayers at the dinner table exactly. that they are blessed yeah. with the food that God you know, provides. There's just no for TV them. there, you know. People can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> but they're thanking God for their accomplishments, for what they do. In I, no, I, I think, in fact, it's, it's sort of a trying to be humble. It's a humble. Sort of it's so opposite yeah. of humble. I think no, if you have a connection humility. with God, you want to bring him up to the podium. That's cool. Because, no, because it's assuming God gives a crap if you make a basket. No. Or win a Grammy. No. I, I no, I don't think it's that. I think it's, I, I think it's people acknowledging yeah. that without God. my connection to God, I wouldn't yeah. be able to perform at this level. Exactly. Yeah. So, my exactly. Religion... so it's... Jesus, God is your friend. What, then why can't you do that in private? Why does everyone have to I be... Do. Because I'm some people are not private really people. If you're really humble. If, if, it's, a, really if humble, it's a part of you, if it's a part of who you are as a private person and you become a public figure, mm -hmm. okay. I don't think it should be a part of you right. that you hide. Thank exactly. you. God, I have to go to a commercial. Thank you very much. We're all very good.
today, yeah. but what is wrong with you? I just, I Why wanted... can't you sit? How old are you now? Seventeen and a half. You're not. <laughs> That's the way I, I kind of regurgitate you're it. You're like in your early forties now, and you're still <laughs> acting like you, you were. You still look like seventeen. It's just inner child. Like oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. All right. Tomorrow, we have, I mean, Monday, we have Chris Christitis, Nina Freeland, Laurie Cole, and Steve Harris from the practice.